Holy fudge. That's beautiful. Ooh, temperamental, are we? Good morning. Pretty late start to the day. It's almost 11 now. I guess I'll go drive through Estes Park and then start making my way back home. It's gonna be a long, grueling drive. But it's gotta be done. Pretty good, nice hotel. There's nobody here though. I feel like I made another one out to the floor. Starting to see the mountains over there and it looks a little sunny maybe at times. Holy fudge. Oh geez. 7,500 feet up. So we're at the Stanley. This is part of it. Um, I don't know if there's any like guest parking or not guest parking. Let's try the other side. Not gonna be able to get in. Okay. Let's park my slab. As you can see, I got way too many souvenirs. But how often are you in Rocky Mountain National Park? That's pretty neat. How neat is that? New hat, what do you think? I'm gonna go check out um, the Alluvial Fan Trail. It was recommended by the lady who took all the pictures of me doing the balance rock couple days ago she said you gotta go check out that it's super cool and pretty easy to get to so let's see how it goes rich people jeepers crepes we are officially in the national park now that's kind of cool We are at the very beginning, but still in the Rocky Mountain National Park. Out of breath already, 8,600 feet up. Takes a lot out of you. Look at this. That's beautiful. I think I'm running out of SD card space. All right. Time to get out of here. Well, we're leaving the park. Bye bye. Uh, all right, leaving 8,600 feet. <clears throat> coming downhill now get back through Estes Park and uh, get back to the Great Plains and have a boring drive for most of the rest of the way that's how it goes
23 and a half hours from home. Ugh. That sucks. Wow. Wow. Oh, something went wrong with the connection. I bet Try it did. Again. Shut up. Ooh, temperamental, are we? Cold, brisk mountain air. Look at this mountain behind me. <clears throat> nice little visitor center here. This truck's been amazing on this trip. Thanks, buddy. Wow, that was an elk. I don't know if I caught that. Look at these places, my God. That was a big ass elk. Future Paul, look at the difference between an elk and a deer. 4,900 feet right now. Bye bye mountains. Hello, the rest of Colorado. Welcome to Nebraska. Thank you. That's called the South Platte River. I wonder if that's the same one that I was uh, traveling on the other day in the middle of Colorado up near uh, Conifer. I think that might be the South Platte River. I'm at Arby's. Still over three hours away from getting out of Nebraska. I'm tired. Well, that was the quickest check-in I've ever had. It took maybe a minute and a half to talk to that guy. We are in Lincoln, Nebraska. Good morning from sunny, windy, and cold Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm uh, still almost 16 hours away from home and I'm not happy. Spent six days in a row now in a different hotel. Always on the move. Nomadic lifestyle, BV. Welcome to Iowa. Thank you. Welcome to Illinois. Thank you. Welcome to Indiana. Thank you. Welcome to Ohio. Thank you. Ah, I just happened an apple and I'm revitalized. I'm ready to rock. Let's go. Also, I had an energy drink. Come on down to Cleveland Town. Come see what the place where we used to have industry. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Thank you. I missed it, but we're in New York now. Yeah. Be back, baby. Woo! I don't know if you can see me at all, but. I cannot believe I made it back today. 16 and a half hours of driving. That is by far the most driving I've ever done in a short period of time. And uh, I feel like I'm going insane right now. I've been talking to a camera for seven days straight, but we got some sweet shots. Just three weeks ago, I got back from my Appalachian trip, which is all on YouTube now, if anyone out there cares. I'm rambling. This doesn't even taste good. It should, because I, I earned it. But...